anterior form versus forced closure today. We've got Kristen on the table. She's going to lay supine or face up. We're going to ask her to do an active straight leg raise. So go ahead and raise this as high as you can. Good. Back down. Other side. As Kristen does her good active straight leg raise, we're watching how high the leg goes. If there's any difficulty, if we have any uh, aberrant movement in this area. Now what we're going to do is check form closure. To do that, I'm going to be at the level of the greater trochanter. I'm going to be pressing firmly lateral to meet. I'm going to ask her to go ahead and raise that leg. Good. Back down. Now this one. Good. If her, if her active straight leg raise improves with form closure, our corrective action is going to be a greater trochanteric belt and corrective exercises. Now we're going to check for force closure. This time what we're going to do is we're going to ask Kristen to bring this hand across. In a minute we're going to ask her to do a little oblique crunch or sit up. When she's sitting up or crunching with this side, we're going to have her raise the opposite side leg. So go ahead, come to me. Hold. Raise. Great. Back down. Relax. Let's check that other side. Good. Crunch. Hold. Raise. Whoa. Back down. Good. So we saw that on this side, that straight leg raise improved. That would be a form, sorry, that would be a force closure problem. Our corrective action for that is going to be corrective exercises. This was our anterior form versus force closure.